At the beginning of the movie, we see a woman who wakes up after hearing some voices. She follows it and goes upstairs, where a door opens and closes on its own, which scares her. She opens the door frame and sees that some women are singing something, and a dead body is lying there. She starts walking towards them, and suddenly a woman turns around, whose face was demonic. The scene is scolding Hallow, one of his employees, because he was smoking in the factory. He apologizes to him, but Orhan fires him keeping in mind the safety of the factory. Now Sedek comes to him and says that Hal needs work to pay his debts, on which Orhan says that he can't compromise with the work. Sedek tells him that he will go to town in the morning to get school materials for his son. Cater also has some work in town so he will take her too. Now Cater and Orhan are sitting together in the night. When Cater tells him that tomorrow she has to go to the doctor, and maybe she will come back with good news. Hearing this, Orhan becomes very happy. On the other hand, we see that Hal commits suicide by hanging himself. The next day an employee Cater tells Orhan that Hal's wife is wailing outside because he killed himself. Hearing this, Orhan gets shocked and runs out. He goes to Hal's wife who starts yelling at him and blames her for his death. She curses Orin that let your fate be as dark as this soil. Orin gets very sad seeing this and leaves from there. On the other hand, Sadat, Kader, and Sadat's son Mehmet are going to town. When Orin calls Sadat and tells about the incident, Sadat tells him that they are coming back, and when he is turning the car, a truck hits their car. Next, we see Orin who is sitting Next, we see Orin who is sitting next to Kader. He is lost in her memories. When suddenly Kader wakes up and she was having trouble with lights. Seeing this, Orin turns off the lights of the house and lights a lamp. He tells her that everything will be fine. On the other hand, Sadat tells his mother that he is going out and asks her to take care of Maimit. Here we see Maimit who was completely paralyzed due to that accident. Now we see Orin lighting lamps all around the house. And during this time, he sees Sadat standing outside his house. After this, he brings a dress for Kater and here Kater asks him what happened to her. She doesn't remember anything. Sadik comes back home where some strange activities start happening in his house. When he goes outside, he sees that the whole house was scattered and something strange was made on the floor. Here Kater hears some strange sounds, hearing which she gets up from the bed and starts walking. She comes near a door and starts banging on it loudly. Here we see a djinn and Kater in a demonic form. Orin then comes there and calms her down. He tells her never to come down, as there are bad memories there which she should not remember. He tells her never to enter that door. He then asks her to sleep and leaves from there. Now we see that he is doing black magic, after which he makes a boundary around the house with salt. The next day we see Sadat and Orhan in the factory, where we learn that Orhan hasn't spoken to Sadat since that accident. Next, we see Orhan's mother murmuring sitting alone, while Orhan's dad cooking in the kitchen. She is looking at Orhan and Catter's picture in a very strange way. Then Orhan's father brings food and sees that his wife is not there. He gets shocked seeing this and starts searching for her. He sees that she is going somewhere. He asks her to go back home, to which she says that she has a mission to do and she needs to talk to Orhan. Orhan's father convinces her and takes her back home. Here Kater is alone at home and is roaming around, where she sees the same dress that Orhan had brought for her. Suddenly she sees a demonic form of her, fearing that she runs away from there. She comes to her room where she finds a talisman. She gets angry seeing it and starts looking for something. Shortly after Orin comes home and sees that Kater is looking at a photo of their wedding, he tells her that they are his mother and father and that his mother did not approve of their marriage. So he does not talk to them. Then Orin hears some voice, hearing which he leaves from there. When he looks out the window, he sees himself standing with an old lady. He goes to the backyard and buries some talismans there. Now we see Sada who sees a black goat on the way. He then goes to Orhan and asks how long will he not talk to him, on which Orhan angrily asks him to leave from there. Next, we see Orhan again doing black magic, in which he is burning Kater's photo with holes in her eyes. And in the meantime, we see a demonic form of Kater. Here Sedet wakes up after hearing some sounds and sees that Mehmet is not on his bed. He then sees an old lady is sitting in Mehmet's wheelchair. Sedet notices that it is his mother who was looking very scary. She gets up, and suddenly Cater's ghost attacks him. But then he wakes up from a dream. 
He sees that Mehmet is sleeping on his bed, and his mother is also sleeping. Now the next day Sedek goes to the factory to meet Orhan, and tries to talk to him. He says that last night he saw Kater in his dream, who asked to save her. Orhan gets angry, and says that he took away her Kater from him, and asks him to stay away from him, or he will kill him. Here Kater is looking at some photos in the house. When she starts hearing some sound, she sees a talisman, and as soon as she touches it, we see a jinn and also demonic form of Kater. On the other hand, Zedek is spending time with Maimit when there is a knock on the door, but when he goes out, there is no one there. When he comes back, he sees Maimit making a strange sketch on the wall, and suddenly he falls. Here Oren is doing black magic, in which he is making a talisman out of the photos of his parents. After this, he goes to the house of his parents, who are very happy to see him. Oren says that he is going to wash his hands, but here we see that he hides the talisman behind a mirror. Here we see Sedat, where his mother comes to him, and asks him to go to Haja Vaisal. Sedat does not like this, so he goes inside where he sees his mother sitting there. Now in the night, Kater hears her name, hearing which she starts going downstairs, where we see a woman sitting. She opens the door where Orhan is standing, and he starts taking her with him. After walking some distance, Kater suddenly notices that Orhan is not with her, which scares her a lot. She sees some torches burning behind a tree, and when she goes there, she sees that Orhan is removing the shroud of a corpse, from inside which a very scary ghost screams. Then suddenly Orhan wakes up from sleep and calms her down. Here Seda is working in the factory, where Kater tells him that his wife also had some problems, which he is facing. He took the help of Haja Vaisal, from whom he came to know that she was possessed by demons. Haja Vaisal healed her by reciting God's verses. He advises him to meet him. Now in the night, Orhan comes back home, and sees that Kater is wearing the same dress, which makes him very happy. Here Sedek takes Maimit to Haja Vessel's house, where we see that Haja already knows their names. Haja starts his work, where he starts getting visions of that jinn. He tells that they showed him yesterday that both of you will come here. He tells that he and his son have been under influence of jinns, since Maimit is weak, so they are influencing him stronger. Hearing this, Sedek gets very scared and asks Haja for help. He agrees and says that let him clearly understand what they want. He says that he has somebody to consult for more information, and then asks them to come back tomorrow afternoon. Here Orhan tells Kater that tomorrow he will invite his brother and his son for dinner, and they will be happy together as before. On the other hand, Orhan's mother wakes up from sleep, and destroys Orhan's hidden talisman with a scissor, and flushes it. After this we see her sitting there weeping. She wakes up Orhan's dad and says that she saw Orhan in her dream, and asks him to get him there. The next day Orhan meets Sadat and apologizes to him. He says that he misses Mehmet and him a lot, and invites them for dinner, for which Sadat agrees, but he is also a bit surprised. Now we see Mehmet and Sadat with Haja, where there is also a lady with them. Now they start reading prayers there, where the lady starts having visions, in which she sees the jinns who have possessed them. She also sees the demonic form of Maimit, Kater, and Orhan. Then Maimit starts screaming loudly, and Haja calms him down. Now Haja tells him that there is a house where you go every night, but you cannot enter. Jin wants him to perform a task for them. He has to go to the house, where he will find a talisman, which he has to destroy by burning it, and during this, he will see terrible and evil things. Here we see Orhan's mother, who picks up a heavy stone, and kills Orhan's father. Orin realizes this so he calls his house, where his mother says that they took his dad, and now they will take her too. Orin comes to his dad's house, where he finds his dad's dead body. When he checks behind the mirror, his talisman is not there, only then does he hear some sound, and when he goes there and sees, his mother is dead in a very bad condition. Here Sedat reaches Orin's house as told by Haja. He calls out to Orin, but inside there is only Kater. Sedat breaks open the door and comes inside. Now here we see that Kater was standing right in front of him, but he could not see her, and Kater herself was surprised to see this. Just then, Sedat sees that door, and he breaks it down, from inside of which a foul smell emanates. He starts going downstairs, and is surprised to see whatever he sees there. That room was full of black magic items. Here Kater also follows him. Now Sedat sees that there is a dead body lying there, and near it are the clothes of Kater, and the photos of Orin and Kater. Sedat fearfully removes the clothes from the corpse, 
where he finds the same talisman which he has to destroy. When he removes the last cloth, he sees Cater's dead body there. He gets terribly scared seeing it. He then burns that talisman, and as soon as it burns, Cater starts screaming loudly, and the whole house starts shaking. Now here said I was able to see her. Only then a djinn comes and grabs Cater, and Cater also comes in demonic form, after which Jin takes her with him. Orin then comes there, and starts crying loudly sitting near Cater's corpse. Now Cater had actually died in that accident itself, and said that himself had buried her. But Orin could not accept her death, so he dig his corpse out from the grave. He resorted to black magic to get her back. He imprisoned a Jin's daughter with black magic, and forced her to live in the disguise of Cater in this realm, as if she was a human being. He wanted her to forget her past and to live as if she was Cater. As time passed, Orin started considering her as real Cater, and that is why he had also called Sadat to meet her. Demons attempted to take their daughter back, but he succeeded to repulse them back with his own occult knowledge. Orin tried to protect their parents from jinns, but they killed them. Whatever Sadat was seeing, the jinns were showing him, because they wanted to take him to Orin's house. The jinns tried hard to get their daughter back, and finally they made Haja the mediator to rescue her from this realm. After two weeks of that night, Maimit also started walking and speaking. After a few weeks, Orhan also disappeared somewhere. Some people said that he had gone somewhere far away, and some people believed that he killed himself to meet his wife. But at the end of the movie, we see Orhan crying near Cater's grave, where Cater calls him from behind. Actually, Orhan's love for the Cater was so strong that even Jin could not restrain herself, and came back to him. Thanks for watching.